Well, back to the UK now, and on this story that didn't quite work before, but we'll try again. A lawyer representing a young person who was allegedly paid by an unnamed BBC presenter for sexually explicit photographs has reached out to the media company. The lawyer, on behalf of the young person, denied that anything unlawful or inappropriate took place in a letter to the BBC. Before that denial was made public, the UK police said they were assessing information about the allegations and making more inquiries to establish if a crime had in fact been committed. At the centre of this, an anonymous BBC personality, alleged to have paid a teenager for explicit photos. But now a twist. A lawyer representing the young person says it's not true. In a letter to the BBC, it states, for the avoidance of doubt, nothing inappropriate or unlawful has taken place between our client and the BBC personality. And the allegations reported in the Sun newspaper are rubbish. I had been surprised all along that the Sun never showed any uh, paper evidence, shall we say, no paper trail such as a bank statement to support uh, their allegations. But they are, if you like, as you said, standing by their journalism. And this is a, actually a pretty big moment for uh, British tabloid journalism as much as it is for the BBC. A spokesperson for The Sun said we have reported a story about two very concerned parents who made a complaint to the BBC about the behaviour of a presenter and the welfare of their child. Their complaint was not acted upon by the BBC. We've seen evidence that supports their concerns. It's now for the BBC to properly investigate. It was seven weeks after the first allegation was made about this presenter to the BBC that they decided to inform the police, and only after the first article appeared in the Sun newspaper. But the BBC says that the allegations in the newspaper were new and of a different nature. And following a virtual meeting between the police and the BBC, the Met Police said there was no investigation at this time. They were still seeking evidence that a crime had been committed. Furthermore, according to the lawyer's letter to the BBC, the alleged victim told the Sun newspaper on Friday that this story was untrue. And that's led to calls for the tabloid to produce its evidence. If you're talking about ruining reputations and lives and, and look at all the other abuse the other presenters have had, surely there has to be more facts and evidence because what's gone on in the last few days is truly terrible and not fair. When were you first made aware of allegations against the BBC presenter? The acting BBC chair not answering. But the corporation's processes still need to be scrutinised and the police still need to ensure there was no crime. Jason Farrell, Sky News.